What's up guys, Guinness here bringing you another player review today and the review is for Inform Samir Nasri, the French midfielder who plays for Manchester City. So if you're looking for Ultimate Team Coins to four players like these then go check out FIFAcoinsBuyers.com for all your coin needs, links will be in the description below. So he's 5 foot 10, he's got the perfect work rates, high attacking, low defensive, he's right footed, 4 star weak foot and skill moves, he cost me 183k right now, he's played 13 games for me and managed to get me 17 goals and has only got me 1 assist so far which is not bad so let's see how he's changed from his regular card well he was a cam and that's the big thing is the position change he's now a left midfielder or a winger so his pace has gone up by one his dribbling defending passing and heading have all gone up by two and his shooting has seen the biggest increase which has gone up by four and that's always a welcome boost to any player especially in an attacking position so let's have a look at those in-game stats and what you'll see is lots of dark green 91 ball control 91 dribbling 94 free kicks 94 penalties as well also 88 short pass, 85 shot power, which is pretty decent. That's what you want from your skill attributes. We move on to the player information, and he weighs 165 pounds. He can play as a cam, left midfielder, or right midfielder, which isn't too bad at all. So it shows how versatile he is. His physical attributes, stand up being 97 balance, 93 reactions as well. Only 66 strength, but he does have 86 agility as well as 84 sprint speed, which means he's fairly quick. 80 acceleration means he does take a little while to get up to top speed, but that's not so bad. And he also has 80 one attacking position and 86 vision. So what were my expectations of Sami Nasri's inform card? Well they were fairly high seeing he has a hefty price tag on PS3 at the moment and also on Xbox at roughly 180,000 coins and also with those in-game stats you know you're gonna have high expectations because they are pretty insane looking however the one thing you've got to note when you pick up this player is the position change that is a massive factor on this card because he's now a left-sided player rather than a central one so he can play as a left mid left wing or left forward rather than the central player that his regular card is where he can play you know anywhere in the middle of the pitch or even up at striker if you're feeling risky so what impact does it have well of course normally you're looking for your wingers to be pacey players the standout bpl wingers at the moment are willian and hazard who have that little bit extra pace and they are alternatives against nazari however if you're not worried about pace and you're more worried about a more complete player then of course he is going to deliver for you and i found him to be outstanding once you take his pace into account so what are you going to get from nazari well you're going to get someone who's got an outstanding finish this guy can finish all day long on his right foot he's also got a four star weak foot as well which is pretty decent so when the ball is on his left foot you don't have to worry about always cutting back onto his stronger foot as he will deliver more often than not he's got a fantastic range of passing as well so when you pick the ball up deep or if he drifts inside centrally then he's able to pick players out he only got me the one assist but he did have great passing you know not always the key final pass but great build-up play as well he's an insane dribbler and you'd expect it with those in-game stats you know his dribbling is absolutely outstanding it's so easy to take players on and of course when he has those four star skills as well and that balance and agility it's so easy to take players on and you don't really feel the pace that much it's only when he's chasing the balls over the top when you really notice it he is a complete player you know he's only 85 rated and he is expensive but it all depends on your style of play he's probably better suited to a left midfield position rather than further forward due to that pace because you do want pace at the top end of the pitch and the other thing you have to take into account with this player is his strength at only 66 which does mean that he does get bullied a little bit when he's playing that little bit deeper by those stronger central midfield players he does have perfect work rates for an attacking player high attacking low defensive which means he makes great runs as well is he worth the coins well if you're not a pace or I'd definitely say go pick him up so let's review overall he's an high school finisher so clinical in front of goal can finish you know more often than not he's got a fantastic range of passing as well able to pick passes out all over the shot he's got an insane dribbling ability and he's got fantastic agility and balance as well he's got four star skills for you skillers out there he's also got a four star weak foot so he can finish with his left foot really well and he's got perfect work rates for an attacker the only negative things I could find is that he was weak for me and he's better suited to a central position based on his stats which is a shame if he was still as you know and a central player then he would have been a better in form and probably more expensive but overall I give him a 9 out of 10 he is a decent player and if you're not a pace world then you'll absolutely enjoy using him so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this review and if you did leave a like below comment subscribe and as always thanks for watching